Hey guys, um, welcome back to one of my Kuronuki videos. So today we're going to be making a small dish. So I'll show you different ways of carving these small dishes from a lump of clay. This first one I'm hollowing out the middle and just going around and compressing the rim. I then flip it over to carve the foot. So here I'm taking a lot of the weight out and wanting it to be more of like just a very simple dish shape where it just slopes from the rim to the foot of the dish. And I'm just using a large loot tool just to carve this kind of shape into the dish. So you can keep going until you're happy with the rough outline shape of the dish. Um, once I'm happy I switch to another tool. So this has this kind of like nose at the end which I'm using to carve these um, stripes on the outside. So I'm just following the curvature of the dish and this kind of gives you this um, wave design around the outside of the dish that can look really pretty especially when you glaze it. Um, the glaze can collect in these grooves on the outside. So I keep going following the um, curvature of the dish until I meet the other end. Um, I'll just show you a close-up of how this looks. So it gives like a very nice organic um, shape to the dish. Next I'll show you another way to carve. Um, so here I'm just hollowing out um, a similar size block of clay. Um, and again I then go around and just like compress the rim of the clay. Um, I'm carving the clay a little bit softer than I would normally carve because it's um, much easier when you're wanting to produce a kind of rounded shape. I then take a knife and make these very large facets to the outside which I think give a really nice organic shape to the dish. I then use this loop tool and kind of move it up and down so you get this wavy motion which um, complements the facets quite nicely. You can see me there just compressing the base um, on the inside of the dish and here I'm going around and carving a small foot with a small loop tool. I'm then removing some of the weight around the foot using that same wavy motion to get um, with a large loop tool. Um, I'm then going in and hollowing out the middle of the foot just using a small loop tool um, just following the shape, the rounded shape of the foot. Um, here you can see me now carving the um, middle of the dish and I wanted to um, have the carvings in the middle complement the outside so you can see me here just using a small loop tool and having this wavy motion of carvings from the center to the um, edge of the dish which I think really complements the facets on the outside. You can see here in a close-up it kind of looks like coral or ripples in the sea uh, which is a really nice design. So I'll show you another way of carving one of these small dishes. So here I'm doing um, exactly the same thing, hollowing out a lump of clay that's of similar size while it's soft um, and then carving just the general shape of a dish. This one I will show you how to carve slightly differently. Um, so I've left it out to dry till it's around leather hard before I do the second more decorative carvings. Here I'm using a very straight edged spatula to give a more these more angled facets and it helps when the clay is much harder to do this because you don't get that distortion as you would with soft clay. So I flatten out the base with a large spatula and here I'm using a very small knife because I wanted to carve a very intricate decorative um, foot. So here I'm wanting to, it to look kind of like a star so you can see me taking out these thin um, triangles um, which will form a star in the foot. I then use a wooden potter's knife to go in and just compress the base and also clean up the star design. Um, once I'm happy with that, I just finish out some of the carving on the outside, then flip over the dish um, to carve the inside using a smaller spatula. So here I wanted it to look like a flower or a lotus, um, which I think complements the outside very nicely. So this is another way I'll show you how to carve a dish. This is the last um, carving method I'll show you. Um, here this has, dish has already been hollowed out and allowed to dry to around leather hard stage before I do these carvings. So here I'm just using a small loop tool to carve these small circles outside, um, on the outside and the inside. And I think this gives a really nice soft, very organic feel to the dish. 
um, and it also looks really nice when you glaze it because you can see these very in intricate carving designs. I also wanted to mimic this design on the foot so I just used the same method to carve out the base of the dish. Um, yeah, so there you have it. That's the last dish I'll show you. I hope you liked these methods and if you want to find out more about different carving methods I've done, you can have a look at the description bar down below. Happy pottering and I hope to see you guys for the next Kurinuki video very soon. Bye!